one of America's most iconic snack cakes, Twinkies, are now back on store shelves across the U.S. And the return comes after its creator, Hostess Brands, emerged from bankruptcy proceedings. The company is now under new management, which calls the return of Twinkies as the sweetest comeback ever. Tracy Tandon has the story. Hostess Brands is betting on robust sales for the relaunch of Twinkies, partly based on pent-up demand. Twinkies, a tube-shaped golden sponge cake with a sweet, creamy filling, have been a staple on American grocery store shelves for over 80 years. When Hostess filed for bankruptcy in 2012 for the second time in a decade, the snack cake loved by American children and adults alike disappeared from stores, by all accounts, for good. Now they're back under new management. The new owners, Metropolis and Co. and Apollo Global Management, have streamlined operations and have vowed to use non-unionized workers. When Hostess suspended operations last November, around 18,500 workers were sent home. Experts say work stoppages cost U.S. companies billions of dollars each year. Work stoppages uh, can be extremely detrimental to um, many companies, especially in the food industry, probably more so than others, simply because um, they rely on having a, a constant interaction with the, cu the customer. I mean, if out of sight, out of mind, I guess is, a, is an old saying. Um, and in this case with Twinkies, they've been out of sight for some time. Um, so it's important for them to stay on the shelves, to stay relevant to consumers. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, only 14.3 million U.S. workers belong to unions. That's just 11.3 percent of the total workforce and the lowest rate in 70 years. And while Hostess has rehired some of its laid-off workers, they're no longer unionized. In a competitive market like this, unions can be more troublesome than anything else, unlike other you know, monopolies or oligopolies that you'd see elsewhere where unions tend to rise. Uh, so in this case, it was sort of out of place with the market it was facing. 